Hi guys, uh, this is a database I have developed for uh, one of the hostels. And now in this form, this is basically this form is showing you the status of the rooms. That is meter reading. So let's talk about this uh, this form, which is showing the status of the all the rooms in hostel one. Now here we have room status vacant, vacant, occupied. And then we have different status, let's say uh, due out, uh, booked, occupied, vacant. Now the requirement from uh, one of my colleagues is that in this form, although it is showing that okay, vacant rooms are there, occupied rooms are there, uh, then uh, if the status need to be changed to let's say uh, booked or due out. So although the status is shown, but what we will do, we will apply conditional formatting, okay, which will show us the status of the room in different colors. Like, for example, if it is vacant, so it should show in a green color, if it is occupied, so it show in red color. So instantly, the user who is updating this form, he'll come to know that, okay, uh, these, these many rooms are vacant, uh, I mean, the status of each room rather to go uh, by reading so if we are giving any color to that status it will be more feasible and easy to understand also and that will be easier for the user so what we will do we'll go to design view okay i will just add here a text box okay a small text box is fine okay just let me okay uh, okay this, this much is enough right so let's go to property sheet we can change the name txt room status okay now currently if we play this form is if we view this form so okay it is showing here now uh, a text box is or, or, or a rectangular square box is here now to give it to uh, give it a color what we need to do very simple and easy i will not take that much of time okay now condition formatting we'll go to condition formatting and we'll just select the text box go to condition formatting here new rule okay now the rule is what should be done okay the rule is that okay i'll show you again that basically this box or text box should change its color based on the status which is selected in this combo box so the name of the combo box show you uh, design view okay go to property sheet room status id so what we will do click here format condition formatting new rule okay field value is between okay so what shall we do we can select expression as okay room status id okay dot column one equals to occupied okay so this means that if the value in the the combo box of room status id is occupied so what should be done it should appear in the background should be red color okay all right apply say okay form view so now here you can see occupied is in red color okay vacant it is still showing uh, as a background there is nothing no color so what we will do okay again go back click on the text box format condition formatting okay fair enough new rule expression is room status id dot column one because it's a combo box 
So column 0 refers to the value itself which is going to be stored in the table which may be the code of basically this uh, the code of occupied vacant and all these statuses may be 1, 2, 3, 4. So here what we will do now if the value is equals to vacant so let's put a green color press ok apply new rule or ok what we will do just to save the time copy ok new rule expression ok it's vacant so if it is booked So let's if it is booked, so let's apply the orange color or any color you can apply, of course. Okay, then we have different statuses of we have status of due out as well. Due out, so it should be in black color. Background, click apply. Okay, save the form let's view the form so here you can see that the vacant status is having green color occupied is having red color okay if we if i change the status to let's say booked automatically the color is orange book means i mean this is a hostel so the room is booked now so it will avoid for the user to by mistake change any record because it is booked already let's change this one to due out so this is how the condition formatting is being used now the next part is the next requirement is that end date I mean this is the contract date so end date if it is uh, already past the current date or expired the contract expiry is there so it this should also have some different colors so same pattern will follow let's put a, a text box here as well Okay. All right. So this text box is there now. Now we'll be checking the condition of end date. So go to condition formatting, new rule. Let's say end date is less than date simple means is this it is or if it is already expired so let's select a color again new rule and date greater than equals to date plus 91 okay this is basically that if the expiry is more than 90 days so let's show green color okay okay I will just copy that one again new rule expression if the date is less than or equals to 90 I mean under 90 days within 90 days so let's give it in uh, another color orange or whatever color okay new rule expression okay here what we will do if it is null nothing is here no expiry is here so apply ok save the form and view the form so now here you can see this one the first record is already expired 2018 and today is 5th of November so already this record this contract is expired 19 10 2019 it's beyond the 90 days limit so it's showing green color now this one is expiring within 90 days so it's showing yellow color 
and where is there is nothing it's showing black color so this is a little bit appearance for the form as well for the user easiness also so the form looks more attractive also and plus uh, it provides the ease of use to the user that's all for now see you in next video and please don't forget to share uh, my videos with other with your other colleagues and friends and let me know if you have any questions so i'll be happy to answer your questions thanks a lot have a good day